All right, just another quick video. In addition to elasticity and the discussion on that, we talked a little bit about that in the Zoom meeting this morning. So those of you that participated in the Zoom meeting, we already covered it. Um, so let me just cover it again really quickly. What is a syntax and how does it relate to elasticity? I wanted to make sure that um, you at least understood this concept because it's a pretty important concept in economics. <laughs> so if you just watch the video on elasticity, elasticity is the measure of one variable in comparison with another variable. In our cases all the time, it is price versus quantity. Can I stretch that price out and charge $4 for a typically $2 item and will people still have the demand for that particular item? That's elasticity. So the syntax is a source of revenue, which is why it's, um, which is kind of, I guess, inherently why it's something that we regulate pretty heavily because a syntax, our government says, we know cigarettes are bad for people. So there's, there's two things that they really have to look at. They want to decrease the habit, which is what was in your professional YouTube video. Um, we want to curb the habit. So whatever that habit is, whether it is alcohol, um, casinos, or cigarettes, the government says we want to decrease it, but if we decrease it too much, we're not going to get revenues. So that's where elasticity comes in. How far can I push that typical, let's, let's take cigarettes, because cigarettes is an easy one, and that's the one that's had the syntax the longest on it. So let's look at a pack of cigarettes. I don't know how many of you smoke, but nowadays you got something in there that's a camel, cigarettes, and it used to be that you could go out and get a pack of cigarettes for three bucks. In my day, they're probably two bucks. I don't smoke, I, I, but I did work at Bell's Supermarket when I was a teenager. So I remember selling for $1.80, $2. Nowadays, my last chance at looking at cigarettes, you could buy a pack of camels for $11.83. Yes, there are cheaper options because those people that say it's an elastic item because it's a luxury, supposedly. So if, it, if they're looking at it in an elastic form, you can say, well, I need cigarettes. Sure, we can go up to the reservation, buy them cheaper. But I'm talking about the same product. Camels are now up and upwards of $12 for a pack of cigarettes. Now, if you look at that, that's not from the manufacturer. There's probably $4 of that is for our government taxes, which is why um, Seneca can sell them for a lot cheaper because they don't have to do our taxes. So what our government does for the syntax is taxes very heavily. Now, if they went up and made these cigarettes $10 to $20, they would have pushback. That would affect the demand and people would stop buying the cigarettes. So our government has this elasticity. They know that they have to push the price to a, to a certain point. They can't push past that because then they'll lose the revenue because people will just stop buying cigarettes or find alternative ways of doing things. Like in, in my heyday, my grandpa used to actually make cigarettes. I know there's cigarette makers, machines that will help you roll your own cigarettes and things like that. There are alternatives to these things. So at a certain price point, most people can't go out and afford $20 for one pack per day um, of cigarettes. So there is a certain point where our government can't push past that without affecting demand. But they do. They want to drop demand a little tiny bit, but not overwhelmingly where they're not going to get a lot of revenue. So it's a fine line. That's what elasticity has to do with syntax is that syntax is a revenue stream for our government. So they have to understand and constantly be aware of how much they can push right to that border. And then at a certain point, they have to realize that they either reel in the prices or extend them a little bit farther. And 
they have to be able to watch the demand very closely and what happens to that. They want a little demand pushback because they want to drop that habit a little bit. That's the whole point of a syntax, supposedly. And But they still want people to purchase it because that tax brings them a lot of revenue. So it, there's pros and cons to it. And it's a very interesting topic in economics, but that's all it has to do with the um, concept of elasticity, is how far we can push and pull without completely finding substitutes because we've put that price too much. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. If you have any questions on it, email me, but that's why I covered the video because I did have a couple email questions. So. Again, anything that you have questions on, let me know and I'll make a video. And even if it's a little bit after class, I'll make a video for you to explain it. I hope you guys are all staying safe. See you on Wednesday. Bye, guys.